All right, guys. Negative thoughts during eating disorder recovery. The negative thoughts, the eating disorder voice, limiting beliefs, that self dialogue, that inner dialogue, self talk that is telling you you're never going to recover, you're gaining so much weight, um, normal eating, intuitive eating doesn't work for you, um, this sucks, um, you're ugly, you're fat, uh, again, you're gaining so much weight, it, uh, you, it just, that, that voice, and I hope I'm, I've uh, rest my case. <laughs> Y'all, that voice, especially when you're first recovering or when you first decide to recover, is going to be loud, loud, loud. You're gonna be overcome, over, you're gonna be overcome, right? That's English lady. You're gonna be overcome with so much negative emotion, so much negative thoughts, so much resistance when eating. Uh, it's just, it's, it's overwhelming even, honestly. It really truly is. It's overwhelming, it's exhausting, especially at the beginning. And I'm telling you guys, it's all normal and it's all part of the process because cha with change comes resistance. With, you know, we've, uh, maybe not eating sort of recovery, but like with other things in your life, for example, paying off debt. You decide no longer you're gonna borrow money, you're gonna stick to just paying off debt. And then immediately once you start paying off debt, what happens? An emergency happens, right? Something unexpected, your tires blow out or your your dog has to go to the ER due to, you know, having some um, severe dry eye. <laughs> or, you know, just, it's very, back to eating disorder, it's, it's very, very normal. It's part of the process and unfortunately there is no way around it. You can't positively think your way out of it. I don't care what anybody tells you because you're a human being and you've been, you've conditioned yourself and your body and your mind to think a certain way and to act a certain way for such a long time that it's going to be met with resistance. And this is normal and it's part of the process. I can't stress that enough. The key, the number one thing, the key to letting go of those thoughts and to getting rid of them is to allow them to be there to literally just allow those thoughts to be there let that negative resistance let that negative emotion let those negative thoughts be there and give them unconditional like you're giving yourself unconditional permission to eat you have to give yourself unconditional permission to think these thoughts and what really helped me during my recovery when i was overwhelmed by all those thoughts um and they would either like they would it would just be all day i was thinking like that or it would be like moments out of nowhere and then even like well off like towards the end of my recovery out of nowhere I would start you know thinking and spiraling these thoughts it, it was really weird but that's how recovery is it goes up and then down up and down up and down up and down so then they use stagnant and up again and then down the key is, to, again, to allow those thoughts to be there, right, Nico? <laughs> to allow those thoughts to be there, to truly, uh, I don't want to say embrace them, but, I mean, you almost have to think about them, like embrace that process and allow them to kind of breathe. Don't suppress them. Don't try to, you know, plaster some toxic positive affirmation or statement or whatever because that's only that's kind of in a way almost um giving power to them if that makes sense you give power to those thoughts by um by trying to change them by trying to suppress them by trying to by beating yourself up for thinking these thoughts you are giving those thoughts power the more you allow yourself to think these thoughts and understand that this is just part of the process and to allow them to be there, the more that they're gonna go away. Some things that I did um, was I would sometimes even talk to these thoughts like they were like children, like scared children, because essentially what these thoughts are, are like scared little kids. Like they're telling you like, no, this is scary, I can't eat that muffin because then I'm gonna gain weight and carbs are bad and oh, that muffin, normal eaters don't eat muffins. Like, you know, it's just, it, it would, they'll say the darnest things, but you kind of have to just allow yourself to tell yourself like, hey, this is normal. It's part of the process. That resistance is here. I'm gonna breathe into it. This is the old self. Old self talking. This is the old self talking. Breathe into that negative emotion, that negative thoughts. Just breathe it, allow it to breathe. Allow it to filter out. This is normal. 
this is part of the process in our dialogue even if you're in public or whatever like just allow really breathe into those it's as simple as that just breathing into that emotion and that feeling and those thoughts is how you allow them to be there and to you allow them to process out because keep in mind we've been thinking these thoughts for so long they're not just going to go away overnight if it were that easy the recovery would have taken like what two days but you but you have to allow these thoughts to filter out and the key thing again to not give power to these thoughts is to allow them to be there don't try to change them don't try to fight them don't try to resist them just allow them to be there and just keep telling yourself breathe in breathe into that this old self the old self oh you look fat old self old self oh you're never gonna recover old self old self oh you're never gonna lose weight you're always gonna be fat you know and, and it's it sounds so simple and it's gonna be hard but it's it gets harder before it gets easier you just have to give it time it doesn't work overnight it's not gonna work within a week even it's not gonna even work within a month who knows but the more you do it the better you get it um, get at it and the you're gonna see that that voice is still is is going to start um, getting quieter and quieter and quieter and sometimes it'll be out of nowhere when you're like when you're thinking you're you're doing well and then the voice just comes it's it's all normal it's all part of the process just embrace it recovery is not a straight line you will mess up you will make mistakes your mind's gonna think whatever the mind thinks your body's gonna do whatever it is that your body does but in the sense those are things outside of your control the only thing you can do is just allow the process to unfold however it is don't compare your journey to anybody else don't compare your recovery or your body to anybody else just stick with it embrace it stay persistent stay consistent and don't try to change or get rid of those negative thoughts we're not we're not in the business of, of fake um, toxic positivity toxic positivity and trying to tell yourself like oh I have recovered and then, like forcing that is going to make you feel like crap um, you have to just allow them. that's at least this is what works now I did have I, I'm all about affirmations I'll make a video about affirmations later but I did have my guiding star my affirmation of I have recovered I did it in past tense um, and, I, and I noticed when I did it in past tense dur during that entire time period I have recovered I have recovered um, I've noticed that I started taking actions as if I was recovered instead of you know spending four hours in my room reading books about eating sort of recovery um, so with that being said uh, negative thoughts are normal they're part of the process don't hate them don't fight them don't judge them just breathe into them and allow them to be there and with time they will go away they will get quiet as your life starts being fulfilled with different things so um, they're just trying to protect you at the end of the day they're just trying to protect you they're scared it's fear you know some people like to talk to these thoughts as if you know they're children like scared children like I said earlier um, you can do that I find it just being neutral just allowing it to breathe really helped me so much so with that being said I hope this information helps you guys